Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of OpenCV by Inside AML. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, filtration using OpenCV. Filtration is an essential part in OpenCV and there are multiple functions that uh, actually perform the filtration. This is by bilateral filtration is there, box filter, filter 2D and various other stuffs are there. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed the YouTube channel of Inside AML, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss a single update. I'm a Money India instructor at Inside AML. Let's get started. So as usual, navigate through your window, go to Anaconda, open your Jupyter Notebook, open CV environment. So up to now, we have deals with a number of things and it's time for filtration process. So now it's time to talk about filters. So filters, let's understand what are the filters. So the main aim of a filter is to make an image more beautiful, more attractive and uh, increase the brightness, increase the contrast, increase the, uh, the quality of an image. So what does filtration does? It uh, works with the blurring of image. It works with uh, changing the intensity of a particular color, color in an image. It works with uh, 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 removing the noise from an image, like small grains are there. I try to remove that noise from the image. And various things are also there, like sharpness and water sharpness removing and contrast. And like the whole aim of a filtration process is to make the things more beautiful. Basically, in this video, we would be dealing with three types of filters, bilateral filters, box filter, and filter 2D. These three filters are really a, a popular type of filter in OpenCV. And uh, more filters are also there. You can have a look. So if you want to go deep into filters, then you can have a look at documentation of OpenCV. And over there, you will get to know about the filters in that, the deep understanding of filters in that. So yeah. So let's start with bilateral filter. So what is bilateral filter? So bilateral filters deals with uh, removing uh, unnecessary noise and increasing the contrast. It deals with like a smoothing of image. So uh, this is the function of bilateral filter. It takes a uh, CV2 dot bilateral filter is that uh, particular function and the parameters are source, same as our image destination. What is source? Source is like a image, like one channel or three channel image. We talk about channel also, so you can have a look at the video, all your videos. So what is channel? Like a one channel image means like a, a black and white image, grayscale image. Three channel image means like colorful image. So we uh, source take those image as an input. And destination means like a same uh, value, same size of our image as a particular destination. So this is something uh, optional. Then the, we talk about diameter of pixels of a neighborhood, like we want to implement at the particular portion of our image, that filter. Then Sigma space is there, which talks about color in a particular space. And Sigma in the coordinates and Sigma color is there that talks about uh, putting the colors in a particular space, in a particular diameter of a space, okay? So if you put a uh, very like high value of a uh, Sigma color, then you can see the then you can see the merging of colors into a particular space okay so let's directly implement that and try to change the value of sigma color sigma space and see what is the output so that is the best way to actually learn the stuffs so directly implement that and let's try to do some experiment with that so first we will start with import open cv that's cv2 after that we will try to get the image so we will make a variable amg in that we will use cv2.amrit function to take the image as input we are dealing with mona lisa image and uh, yeah so mona lisa.png and after that we want to take it into a colorful form because we live in a colorful environment and we want the colorful pictures now what we got uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna implement this bilateral filter like make a variable filter or bl filter and in that we will put our function cv2 dot bilateral and then we will pass our image img is the source of image i talk about dsg destination is like a optional so we'll take it as a optional and uh, let's try to put the value of uh, the uh, diameter of a pixel neighborhood in integers okay so it's like a whole portion it takes at the particular portion you want to apply so let's check to be like a five 
and let's change the sigma color like make the sigma color to approx 20 and and you can change the sigma space to 30 okay so yeah so we have applied the bilateral filter on the image and we have put the value of that we have like taken the whole output in the bl filter variable now it's time to show the function okay so yeah uh, destination is also helpful in like if you're dealing with matplotlib then you can like uh, uh, show the output in a particular like in your environment itself so then you can deal with that so that is used in that itself now let's put the uh, amso function of cv2 to show the output in amso first uh, things is like tab name so let's make the tab name to be mona and after that let's put the bl filter over here that our output what we want to show and after that we're going to use the key to stop that for a moment i talk about what is important of key uh, uh, key is actually for wait key cv2 dot wait key it's a function that actually stops the stops the uh, picture that tab for a particular second that is actually implemented in that if you put a zero in this then it will uh, make it to be default like until you just not uh, make it to be exit then it's going to be there okay so this is something wait key so we are making a trigger like if a key equal to 81 means q or you put 27 for escape sequence then we will just exit that okay so we are making a trigger for that so let's see this function let's see the property the bilateral filters what is actually doing to the image let's run this so now you can see that there's not that much change actually applies the small type of filter like a small filter like it deals with a uh, removing the noise from the image and like uh, you can see a better clear image okay so if you are having a really blurred image or having a lot of grains on the image then you can apply that let's change the value to minus or something like increase the value and let's see what is going to happen just press the q you will exit by its own and after that we will change the value to okay change the value to minus 90 and let's see what is happening so you can just play with this and this is the best way to learn actually so yeah there's no that much like effect i guess let's see this now change the value to 200 and let's see what it, what is going to happen with that okay so you can see that how it's actually taking the input it's totally removing the whole noise it's actually removing the intensity and like if you just increase like uh, really high like i have increased the sigma color to 200 and now you can see that how the colors are merged together all the colors are trying to like uh, like make it to be one so this is that whole filtration process so this is how by implementing that stuff you can learn the the function the value of uh, sigma color sigma space and anything so you can do these things to learn the stuff rather than going with a direct uh, theory of that so yeah you can see that how the colors are merging together so this is all about this uh, uh, bilateral filter now let's talk about let's press q now let's talk about box filter okay so box filter is similar to the bilateral filters but there are something uh, the normalized function is uh, the normalized parameter is also there that actually normalize the image and this is something like a uh, uh, code related to that but not that much similar let's directly implement that and then we will talk about each uh, parameter in that okay so what bilateral uh, box filter takes first uh, take these values we will like uh, import our cv2 and take the image just copy this over here yeah so we have just copy that and now let's implement the bilateral filter so what uh, box filter sorry so uh, uh, bx filter let's name it to be and then we will make our cv2 dot we will call our cv2 dot box filter function filter function this we will pass our image okay so this is a be uh this is like similar to that itself now there's a d depth in this okay so what d depth means like uh, there's a destination also we talk about destination so this is something optional d depth is like a uh, output of image depth how much output you want in the image it should be like 20 and k size kernel size is about like uh, the particular space the particular okay so what is anchor means in real life anchor is like something that hold the sip or like having that particular like uh, the mid position of that okay so by default the anchor is minus one to one 
so you can put whether you want to put whether you not want to put you didn't put like it's by default that itself so let's uh put a dref to 20 and anchor size to be like a default so minus one and one and uh, we want to normalize so you're gonna put true if you want to normalize and border type is like we have talked about border type like cv2 dot default border is also there for that so you're gonna put border also if you want and like i think there's no necessary of like putting border in that so it's optional for you now let's again uh, call our same stuff our cv2 dot function to like um, directly i'm i'm copy pasting for like uh, like preserving the time so you just call the amso function and that in that we will pass our bx filter and yeah so we have applied that and let's see what the what is the property of this particular filter box filter okay so let's see that just run shift plus enter so yeah you can see the output over here uh, this is the picture okay so there was some issue with that it's actually falsc the box f would be capital over here and I put it one more value of this. I've put it the kernel size. I just put it one into one. I didn't want to go with that more pixel. Okay, so this is at the center and capturing that area. And this is optional. You want to put, not put, no issue. So this is how this uh, box filter also works. You can play with the values. You, you just directly change with the value. And you want to go deep into that particular topic, then you can have a look at the documentation of OpenCV. Uh, well, this is not the topic of machine learning and this is an optional topic. So whether you want to go with this video, you can go in this playlist or if you are typically working on this particular image filtration process, then you can have a look at this. OK, so same as usual filter 2D is also there as a function as a filter that actually uh, it actually works with like uh, uh, smoothing the image and working on the dimension of that. Uh, working with directly on the intensity you can see on the contrast and on the on the threshold of our image so you can implement this also a uh, same uh, it's actually cv2.filter2d uh, the name of function you can apply just as same as i have applied over here so destination kernel is also there the same kernel size you can put and for that anchor like at, uh, at what particular position you want to implement from okay so this is like that the center of that from where you want to implement the, the whole stuff of filter 2d and uh, like uh, behind this filter there's a whole mathematical calculation is out there so you can have a uh, so you can have a look at that and uh, you can find the documentation really clean of OpenCV. so you can have a look so whole everything is just about math you can have a look and this is all about this video in next video we would be talking on threshold of image okay so that is actually important video because that is going to tell us the dimension of our image and about like uh, that is going to capture the border of our image and going to show you like it going to remove the whole color and going to show you the uh you just say negative negative image so let's have a look at that and if you have any problem in this video do share and put the comment we will love to solve your query it's all about this video see you in the next video